Hey guys, it is so quiet in the house right now. Why is it so quiet in the house? That would be because the kids are not here. Anthony's parents actually took them for a couple days. They just wanted to spend some time um, with the kiddos. And so we said, okay. And so we went this past weekend and spent Christmas with Anthony's family. I took some videos of the boys opening gifts. So I'll input those here. Porter, come here. What is it, Gray? It is. What is it? Oh, not a puzzle. Is it a puzzle? Yeah. Let me see. Of what? Oh, oh. my goodness. That's so good. <laughs> We had a great time. The boys got spoiled with tons of gifts. Even baby girl got some outfits um, and we got diapers, which is so useful. Um, and Anthony and I got some gifts too. So that was super fun. It is six days till Christmas. So we are getting to the nitty gritty, very close. I am all done wrapping presents. Everything is ready to go. So I'm feeling good um, in that aspect. We've done all of our holiday memories and experiences we got all those done so all that's left to come is Christmas so that will be exciting um, I am vlogging today because I I'm already actually back from my uh, doctor's appointment so I went to my 24 week doctor's appointment and I just wanted to tell you how that went it was like the fastest appointment ever because they weren't like drawing blood there was no ultrasound like it was just super standard appointment so I went pee in the cup, did the weight, did the blood pressure. And I swear my doctor was in there for like five minutes, if that. She was like, how are you doing? I was like, fine. You know, I never have anything wrong with my pregnancies. And so uh, she measured my belly, finally. <laughs> I was like, when are they gonna start doing that? So she measured my belly and my fundus height, fundal height, whatever that thing is called. She said, I'm right on track. So I must be measuring about 24 weeks. And then she did the fetal Doppler and she said uh, heartbeat was in the 140s, which is so funny to me because with my boys, they both had high heart rates. Um, they were both like in the 160s and baby girl, her heart rates have always been lower, like 150s and today was in the 140s. And it's funny because the old wives tale says that if you're having a girl, the heart rate will be uh, faster and if you have a boy they have slower heart rates that has been the complete opposite for me but she said all looks good she asked if the baby was kicking and i said yeah she kicks like crazy so that was good and they said they'd see me in four weeks so they gave me a bunch of papers which was that was a little different they gave me a paper talking about um, getting a tdap shot for whooping cough they encourage all pregnant moms to get this, whether you've got it in your last pregnancy or haven't ever gotten it, um, just cause the baby can't get the whooping cough vaccine until like two months old or something. And there's a high chance that they'll get it being a newborn. And with my kids and all the colds they catch, like I'm not, 
I'm not risking that. So they just gave me information about that. I'll be getting that shot next appointment. And then uh, they told me that my next appointment, I'll be doing my glucose screening, which I figured was coming soon. And so they gave me information about that. My doctor's office is different. I know everybody does theirs differently. Some make you come in and then drink the drink in the office, then you have to wait an hour and then they draw your blood. Mine is different. They give you the drink um, a month before. So I have the drink now and then I just drink it uh, 45 minutes before my appointment. And then I go in and then um, they draw it when it's been an hour. So they had three different drinks to choose from. They had like a lemon lime, which they said tastes like flat Sprite, which I think I've gotten that. I know I've gotten that one. I don't remember if it was my first or my second. Then they have an orange one, which they said tastes like flat sun-kissed, which I feel like I've had that one too. And then the third one she said is the most popular and it's the fruit punch. So I got that one. I'm hoping it's one I haven't had before because there's three and this is my third pregnancy. So I'm hoping, I know I've had the lemon and lime run. I can't remember if I did the orange or the red. I want to say it was orange. So anyway, I'll show you guys. It's in my fridge right now. And I showed it to Anthony as soon as I got home and I said, do not drink this. This is going to be in our fridge for, uh, for a month. Don't drink it. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Gluco crush. <laughs> So that's it. And I have to drink this whole thing um, within five to 10 minutes and then next month for my next appointment. I've talked about this before, but I feel like a lot of people are babies <laughs> when it comes to drinking the glucose drink. I love those drinks. I don't think they taste bad. I think they taste great. And I have no problem drinking it fast. A lot of people are like, it's horrible, it's nasty, I can barely get it down, it makes me feel bad and feel sick, and no, it does not do that for me. Um, it's totally fine. So yeah, they gave that to me, so I'll be holding on to that until next month. And then they also told me that I need to go and pre-register at the hospital so that they know that I'm coming, which seems so early to be doing that. But they said that any time now is fine to do. So I need to go online and register so that they know that I'm going to be coming in a couple months. Yeah, overall, it was a great appointment. I made my next appointment for January and yeah, that was kind of it. So I took a little video while I was in the room like waiting so i'll and put that here not very exciting they always put me in like the tiniest room which is fine so other than that it's been a pretty easy day i had to get gas put air in my tires so just been doing things that i've been able to do without the kids which has been nice so they come back wednesday today's monday so we have a couple days without the kids so anthony and i are going to go out tonight run a couple errands we got lottery tickets from anthony's parents and uh, we actually got money on both of them so we're gonna go exchange those tickets for money um, we're gonna buy some stuff at home depot or lowe's for our house and i think we're gonna go out to dinner my grandparents every year for christmas get us like um gift cards which we love and so we're gonna use some of those gift cards and go out to eat just the two of us because we gotta take advantage of it while the kids aren't here yeah that's kind of on our agenda tonight so maybe i'll vlog a little bit of our adventures It'll be fun going out without the kids because we can go so much faster and get so much more done without them. But I wanted to show you guys, so it's still Christmas and so we're still doing the Elf on the Shelf. And I told Anthony that we need to move him before the kids come back. And so I was like, if you come up with an idea, like feel free to implement it. And so I came home and Anthony must have come up with this idea. I'll show you guys. There's the Elf and it looks like he's pooping. <laughs> so super cute and yeah, that he came up with that on his own so funny that's what happens when dad gets a hold of elf on the shelf i don't know if the kids will understand like what's going on but i think it's hilarious so we'll just keep him there till wednesday um and the kids will get a kick out of it what else is going on? I don't think not too much. Nathan and I have just been like watching shows. I've been catching up on my TV shows and just kind of taking it easy. Um, super quiet without the kids here. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys about my appointment. It went awesome and I don't have to go back for another month. So just gonna keep on keeping on.